all of us, when we come into this world, our mind is filled with so much of ganda, so much of filth, of maya, of kaljuk. <laughs> Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Sangha Ji. Welcome to another episode of Sikhandi Pagat Mala, where we explore the Sakya of Guru Sikhs from Tham Guru Amar Das Ji, as mentioned by Pai Guru Das Ji and retold by Shaheed Pai Mani Singh Ji. So today we are going to be listening to the Sakya of the Guru Sikhs who came to meet Guru Amar Das Ji. So Pai Guru Das Ji in Var 11, Pauri number 16, they say, Maliya Saharu Pale Chibay Gur Dargah Darbari. So they speak about two Gursikhs here, the name of Pai Maliya Ji and Pai Saharu Ji. Guru Sahib looked at them and said, Ki both of your Gursikh should do the seva of washing the kapde of the Gursikhs, of the Sangha they come to this place. You should not only just wash their kapde, clean their clothes, dry them, and also if their clothes are torn, you should also sew their clothes as well. So whatever uh, tear there is on their kapre, whatever mending that needs to be done, you should do that seva for them as well. Guru Sahib says, by washing the clothes of the Sangat, by mending their kapre, their clothes, your connection with Paramatma will become even stronger. You will be liberated from this world, from this kaljuk, and your face will be glowing not only in this world, but in the next world as well. You'll be recognized, you'll be seen as those Gursik who served other Gursiks as well. Then Guru Sahib says, by you washing the clothes of the Sangha to come here, you might be physically removing the dirt, the malad, the filth from their clothes. But indirectly what's happening is that the filth from your mind is also being washed away at the same time as well. So Sangha Ji, all of us when we come into this world, our mind is filled with so much of ganda, so much of filth, of maya, of kaljuk. So in Jabji Sahib as well, Maharaj says, Mota paliti kapad hoye, de saaboon laiye oho to. Par ye mat papa ke sanga oho to pe nave ke rang. That mot paliti kapad hoye, when clothes are dirty, de saaboon, you take soap, you take water, and you clean them physically. But par ye mat papa ke sanga, that when our intellect, our mind is filled with so much of filth from Maya, from Kalju, from what we see around us. That the only way to clean the filth of our mind is through Naam. So Guru Amar Das Ji tells them that you are washing the filth, the dirt from the Kapre, from the clothes of the Sangat, but the filth in your mind is also washed away at the same time, which means all your Mare Karam, all the sins that you have done, all the bad deeds you have done, said or thought of, all of those things are being washed away at the same time as well. So this is something Sangaji that some Gursikhs uh, they practice as well and something that we can do in our daily life as well. And it's a very interesting thing that you know when we sweep our house or clean the table or wipe the windows or mop the floor, when we are doing something physically like that, in our mind, have that conversation with your Guru. Just as I'm sweeping this dirt away from the floor, can you please help me, do kirpa on me and sweep away all those dust and dirt of Maya from my mind, from my karam. As you're wiping your window, you're wiping the table, do do or das Guru Ka Sahib ki sache paachaji. As I'm wiping this window and I can see my physical self clearly, can you help me to wipe? Show me the way that I can wipe the window of my mind so I can see my true self, I can see Atma as well. So Gurbani says as well, Mara Kendane, if you serve the other Gursiks, what happens is you yourself will be liberated. Mara Kendane, Gursik khan ki har tu, rudai hama papi bhi gat pai. That by getting the tur, the mal, the dust or the feet of the Sangat of the Gursiks, Ham Papi Pi Gatpai. That by doing their seva, physical seva of cleaning their shoes, washing their kapre, giving them a massage when they come to meet the Guru, you know, helping them, washing their hands for them. By doing this physical seva of cleaning for another Gursik, for the Sangat who come to you, to the Gurdwara, to your house. Ham papi pi gat pai. That ham papi, that sinners like me, even I can be liberated by physically doing seva of another gursik. And Guru Mardaji tells to Pai Maliya Ji and Pai Saharu Ji that you should also physically clean the kapre of other gursiks and this way your mind will become clean as well. Your karam will, be, will become clean and will become pure and this way you'll be liberated. So Sangha Ji is a lesson for us here to learn as well. That when we look at seva, sometimes we even categorize seva as 
clean seva and dirty seva. So clean seva would be something that doesn't require us to sweat you know, or doesn't require our own hands and feet to become dirty. Then we prefer not to do uh, the dirty seva, jutte pandiyandi seva, joriyandi seva, or physically cleaning the drains of the gurdwara. But sometimes what we need to do is that we also need to do both types of seva. And when you do jutte pandiyandi seva, where your hands become dirty, you literally have to collect all the jute of the sangat. You know, you have to clean the pandi, you have to touch the shoes, the dirt of the shoes of the sangat, you have to clean the drains, maybe put your hands into it. I've seen with my own eyes as well but what happens is this really helps us to break our ego break our hankar our pride and when that happens then it's so much easier for our mind to become clean as well so itnika bentiyan parwan kanya pulla chukan dikhima wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh